This is a closer up look at the i4 Bluetooth mini keyboard with touchpad by Re. Real internet idea. It's 7.1 by 4.2 by 0.9 inches. This version has been around since 2019. There's still a previous version still out there for sale. It's curvier and without a scroll wheel. This particular unit is one of the best sellers for Re, the company. And you'll see it has thousands of reviews on Amazon compared to comparable units. I'll mainly test its functionality on a PC. Then I'll test the Bluetooth pairing with an iPad Pro, iPhone, and test the 2.4 GHz RF USB dongle connection with an M1 MacBook Pro and a TCL Roku TV. One of them will not work. But first, a quick unboxing and then closer up look at the device. It has dual mode. It's a multimedia keyboard with touchpad compatible with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Android, Smart TV, Xbox, and PS4 with backlit keys and you can use it in the dark. It has unique scrolling wheel, touchpad DPI adjustable, Dual mode means you can switch between Bluetooth and the 2.4 GHz receiver. And still we're going to have to use micro USB. It's portable and tiny. You can see this manual at the end of the video in its entirety. Or you can use timestamp to skip to it. Now in the hands, it quite feels quite good. Very portable, very light. It reminds me of a Blackberry. Remember that? The shoulder buttons feel pretty good. Tactile. There's a sticker in one of the screws. If you open it, they'll know. Hate that I still see micro USB port. Since this is a closer up look, I sometimes will prolong the footage. Because sometimes I think people really want to see things up close. Yeah, this is a Blackberry, or it reminds me of one. Well, I haven't charged the battery yet, but it's working already. If I were you, I would test every single button out. But you don't have to see it in this video. Well, let's take a look inside here. There's the dongle, the receiver and the battery RII and here's the 2.4 gigahertz receiver that I will be testing on my Mac let's take a look at what kind of battery we have it's a 700 milliamp hours and I'm sure you can also find this on Amazon if you really want one or another one and don't forget you can always skip around the timestamps are below but I do hope you watch the whole thing through. I noticed that some reviewers seem to think the plastic is cheaply made. I kind of think so also. It's not a deal breaker for me. I think it's okay. This is a magnet charging head, a micro USB, a system with a cable which I use for everything I charge conveniently. The magnetic head supposed to be flushed, at least on my other devices, but interestingly, not on this one. And plugging this thing in and see how it goes. As you can see here, it is charging with the red light and fully charged when it is off. The inverse labels on the keys, like Control Alt Delete and the light bulb and this trackpad speed adjustment they are activated by holding the function key first for example which i will demonstrate to switch between bluetooth mode and the 2.4 gigahertz res uh, rf receiver and you have these f1 f2 f3 keys and so on up here which all required you holding the function key first and also fast forward play pause and rewind for multimedia purposes many of these keys i will test but not all 
It has alt grab and win keys also. Dedicated multimedia keys like volume up, down, off, and home. It has a scroll wheel that you could also press. Directional pad with center OK button. And finally, the left right shoulder buttons. And take a look at this unit size comparison to other devices. The mouses. AirPods, AirPod case, I mean. Mini TCL Roku TV remote. My iPhone mini, 13 mini. A white Xbox controller. Rubik's Cube. A full-size mechanical keyboard. An M1 iPad Pro. An Apple Magic trackpad. An Apple Magic keyboard. And you can see here I also use a magnetic charging system on all the Apple devices. And lastly, the pickup lines book that I had used for many years ago. Well, let's move on and test out the unit. Say you don't have a keyboard at all, but you have at least a mouse. This is what you do. Just use the virtual keyboard. All right, let's take a look when this thing is on. You can see the green light flashing. First, I will test it on the PC. Go to Bluetooth and Devices in the settings. Add a device here or here. Select Bluetooth and wait. So I notice that I have to go into Bluetooth mode on the device by holding the function key and press Bluetooth or BT. And you can see the i4 device. Just select it. And it's ready to go. So as you can see, the touchpad is working right away. Maybe not the speed I want, but I could change that later. Take a look at what I could do with my first experience with it. You could tap the touchpad for the left mouse click. The scroll wheel is working. Just like the scroll wheel on the mouse. You could also examine what I am into or watching on YouTube. Try lighting the keys up. Function key, light bulb. Take a look. It does look good to me in low light, it's very clear. Even the scroll wheel lights up. All looks good to me. As you can tell, I'm messing around with it while it's still charging. Turning off, turning on. Trying the device scroll wheel versus the mouse scroll wheel. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference. But obviously, the scroll wheel on the mouse is, uh, of course, uh, better. Feels better, I mean. The scroll wheel on the unit feels a little cheapier comparing to the mouse one. And this mouse is only about 14 bucks. Best Buy Essential Mouse. Pressing the scroll wheel opens up a new page for the link wherever the cursor is on top of. And you can see that on top there. You could also scroll by using two fingers up and down on the trackpad. Take a look. Let's try typing using notepad up. 
pressing on the keys sound uh, like Blackberry keyboard and feels like it too. Take a listen a bit at the sound of the keys. This is a long video, you can always skip chapters below. Do forgive me, this is my first time try typing this key on this keyboard. I bound to make some mistake. Very tactile and satisfying. But you would rather hold the device and use the keyboard like your smartphone, of course. And faster and better this way. Sorry about that, I wasn't thinking while filming this. Here's where I am pairing with an iPad Pro. One thing that I notice about this keyboard is that you, once you turn on, you will have to wait about five seconds or so before you can use the keyboard. That is one thing they can improve on for the next version with a USB-C charging port. And you can see that everything is working as it should on my iPad. Touchpad also works. Very nice. Not laggy at all. I also have a keyboard trackpad specifically for this M1 iPad Pro and the trackpad feels no different than this touchpad and that's a big plus. And here I'm pressing the home button and it works. And here I'm also testing the volume keys and they work. Next, pairing with the iPhone. And once again, you have to wait a little bit before you can use the device once you turn on. Yep, that long of a wait. And things seems to work just fine. Testing out all the symbols. Yes, this is a yes. All right, I'm going to try using this receiver. And here is another magnetic system a USB-C one and data transferable. For this second configuration, you have to press shift and forward slash. Again, I can tap to select And as you can see, it does work on a Mac book. Testing the left shoulder button to drag to resize the pane. And you can also Bluetooth pairing with the Mac.
And now for the TCL Roku TV. And it does not work. At least for this particular TV. Now back to the PC. Changing the mouse speed. Or in this case, the touchpad speed. Hold the shoulder button and then slide. Now that's a little too fast, I would think. And that's a little too slow, as you can tell. About there, I like. Once again, to demonstrate how fast you can use the keyboard once it's turned on. Next, this is a drawing test using this device. There are many ways to left mouse click this using this device. The left shoulder button would be the one for drawing, for sure. Going slower speed. Back to my chosen speed. As you notice, I have been entirely using the unit navigating through windows. Basically, you could replace your mouse and keyboard with this unit. But seriously, you wouldn't really want to. Let's see this with the mouse. Of course, this is better. Even better, try Wacom Light Pen, or better yet, Apple Pencil on an iPad for drawing. And that was it. The rest is just going to be this, this user menu in its entirety. If you want to stay around and read, please do. It would be great for my video statistics. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please do come back for the next video.